Here in the North Texas area, that's the north part of the great state of Texas, there's all sorts of neat venues to go shopping. I like to go to places that are referred to as antique malls for a variety of reasons, but let me tell you up front, and we're going to get into this more, the antique malls don't necessarily only have antiques. They're just a lot of fun. They have some really cool stuff that can bring back a lot of memories that you may have forgotten until you walk through the doors and you see something and say, I remember that. It's just a lot of fun. Let's hear about it. We're going to hear about someone that she does it because it's fun, but she also does it because it's a pretty good business since she's been associated with them for some time now. Her name is Irene Lamb. The businesses we're talking about today is one of her antique malls, the Mid-Cities Antique Mall. Irene, welcome to the show. How are you? Well, thank you for inviting me. So is that fair to say it's just fun? Do people come in and they're smiling and it's just fun? Yeah, it is fun. We have a lot of stuff. You were thinking... Okay, my daughter said, Mom, isn't it antique malls just have op for old people to shop? I said, no, 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 no. We have a lot of different stuff. We have old stuff, new stuff, anything for a whole family, from toys for small kids, NASCARs, memorabilia. Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards. You got a little bit of everything. And so you manage not one, but two different malls. Where are they? Where are the two malls that you work? Uh, the one I originally started is called uh, Plano Antique Mall. And okay. It's in Plano. Sure. Um, that's 20 years ago. 20 and years 20 ago. 20 years ago. And then uh, this one at Miss Cities, uh, it's called Miss Cities Antique Mall. It's actually started in 2006. 2006. So you've been yeah. doing this a little while. You've seen a lot of stuff come and go, haven't you? Yeah, it is. Now, yeah. the one here at the Mid Cities, in addition to all the all the neat stuff that you can look at and touch and feel and shop, you can also eat there too. Is a tea? We have a tea room. Yeah, yeah. and it's not just tea. <laughs> <laughs> have a lot of great sandwiches and foods, and you can enjoy it afternoon and shopping Spend and just relax. Day. Yeah. Do Do you see people a lot of times, Irene, when they walk through and they see something, say? Oh my gosh, my grandmother used to have this in her house and it brings back all the memories for them of when they were little, when they used to see that. Is that that's got to be kind of special, isn't it? it? It is definitely. And then when we find something and they look for it, they say, oh, this, I remember my grandma had that or grandpa. And uh, so it's like nostalgia. And so they, is the mall itself, is it set up like it's a bunch of different small businesses, different people? Do they have spaces at the mall? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's pretty neat because you're a small business yourself, but you give other people an opportunity to run their small business within the mall, but everybody works together mm -hmm. uh, on everything. Yeah. That's a, that's a great concept. Yeah, that's why it's a lot of variety because each vendor, we have about 150 vendors for each wow, mall. Wow, for each mall. For okay. each mall. And so each one have their own stuff. Some of them are, oh, my father or grandfather or grandmother passed away, and that's what she left, and... Uh, so I need to get rid of them and sell them. Some of them are just like, uh, some people are like, um, they just like to go shopping and buy stuff. And then when they end ending up with too much stuff, they want it to sell the, them. Well, it's a great way to have your own business to make a little bit of money, but you probably have people who they sell their stuff, they make some money, then they go buy more stuff from somebody else. Yep, <laughs> that's the way. And, and estate sales especially Oh, popular. estate sale, I didn't even think about yeah, that. Yeah, a lot of the, uh, our vendors, they go to estate sale and okay. they find all kind of treasure, you know, fattens and some Then they bring it back in? Mm -hmm. Do you? Do you have? A, do you sell too? Or you just manage everything? I mainly just manage it because I work seven days a week. Oh. Uh, and um, so it's just not able to do any of that, just mainly management. So and you, did you start 20 years ago when, when you were just a little girl? You started working at the mall? <laughs> yeah, right now. I, <laughs> well, I, Unfortunately. Just, did did uh, you, what, what, how did you get started in it? Were you just looking for a job and you found this place? Or did you mm, like antiques? Or what was your No, um, about 30 years ago, 30 more years ago. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, I come, to, come in here from China. Right. And that's in late... Uh, late 70s okay and then uh, after I got married and my husband and I own a Chinese restaurant and we worked for 15 years working so hard yeah and after 15 <laughs> years we have decided to retire and then my two older sister who manage property and own properties in the real estate business mm -hmm. and my older sister um, have a tenant in one of her property had a store it's called nostalgia 
Okay. And so um, she's just saying that, okay, um, you know, uh, this nostalgia is going to be um, discontinue the business, and would you like to um, help me to manage it? And I thought, wow, that's a challenge. Wow. You <laughs> I've never done that before. No, it's not like the restaurant business, is it? No. <laughs> uh, and so I took on the challenge. And here I am 20 years here later. Here you are today. I think you survived the challenge. Yeah. You know, going back to the people that are in there, not not just the vendors, not just the, the business owners, but the, the customers that come through. Do you get a lot of collectors? A lot of people collect stuff, and they're looking for certain items. Mm -hmm. Do they come do. in looking for a certain thing, and then, oh, my gosh, here it is. Yeah. We do. We do have a lot of collectors come through, and they're looking for a specific, specific thing. Right. And, uh, yeah, we have coins also in the store. Well, and the collectors, one thing I know about, I know I have friends that collect different stuff. They all like to get together and talk about different stuff. So I bet if they're coin collectors, for example, they may talk, say, oh, you need to go to the Mid-Cities Antique Mall. There's a booth there that has a whole bunch of these. Uh -huh. and, the, and it's a whole, it's a bunch of different communities of people that talk to each other to help spread the word. That's your whole marketing pe people right there. Is that a big part of how you get customers in is through groups that talk to each other? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, well, of course, right now, these days, uh, social media, it's also it's huge. a great place to post this stuff when we have news that we have a, a booth that sells military stuff. Oh, military, more again, more collectibles. Mm -hmm, yeah, military mm -hmm. collectibles. Any, any sports cards, sports Yeah, sports stuff? memorabilia and Fentons and furniture, shabby sheets and old pictures or new pictures. Well, are you what, what kind of are you open every day, seven days? We, yeah, we do. We open seven days a week, Sunday, twelve to six. Okay, and the rest of the time like not yeah. ten to six. Yeah, yeah, about ten thirty to six thirty. Okay, yeah, yeah. and then you but you only had the you only have the tea room in the mid cities location. Yes, the right. Plano one does not. Have, the Plano one have a lot of uh, uh, some of the vendors are actually from. 20 some years ago when they first opened the store. They've been, been there, there the whole time? The whole time. We have a few of them. That's and, exciting. Uh, and have employees the whole time been there. And so, of course, the antique mall would not be successful without a lot of the royal vendors, sure. customers, and employees. Sure. And you probably, if somebody's been there for 20 years, it could be second generation. Their their mother might have opened the place, and now the daughter's there working <laughs> at it, too. So you may you may have multiple generations doing, doing yeah, the same thing. Yeah, and I love the antiquing business. It's just so people, like, on the weekend, hey, Saturday, Sunday, antiquing. Something to do. And a lot of times, and I'm speaking for me, a lot of times I'll do just that. I'll go in. Maybe it's a rainy day, and I can't go outside, but I can go inside. And I just walk around. I just want to look at stuff. And next thing you know, I'm buying this, and I'm buying that, and I'm buying stuff that I hadn't That's always the on. case. You but, I wasn't thinking what I'm going to buy, but I end up buying this and this, and it's not really what I need, but this is what I want. But now I have <laughs> Well, and I'll tell you this too, Irene. A neat thing about the whole, about the antique malls, yours in particular, everything's always changing. There's mm -hmm. always, your, your vendors, they're always going to go to a new state sale and bring in new stuff. So every time you go, you're going to see something different, right? Mm -hmm. It changes. Definitely. A lot of new, that's what fun part of it. Yes. Is you don't have the same thing. You have different thing because we don't have that this week, but who knows what they bring in next week from a state sale. And that's a fun part of it. But you better pay attention too, because if you go in there and you see something and you don't buy it and somebody else gets it, it's gone. Because a lot of stuff, there's only one. There, it happens. There, there might just be one in the whole world, it and if you miss it, it, you better get it the first time. Yes, when you see it, because it happened before. People saw something, and then they're walking around the store, and they go back, and they said they're going to get it, and mm -hmm. then they say, oh, my Jesus. Then, you know, it's just not there. It, it's just such a cool place to be able to go in and get some really unique gifts. Mm -hmm. I mean, whether it's graduation, I bet you just sold a bunch of Mother's Day stuff. Of course, it won't be long till the holidays are here, and you want to get something exciting and different for your family and friends. Yeah. Head over to the antique mall and grab it. Well, I tell you what, we're out of time right now. I, I've, I've got to roll. You probably need to get back and check on the mall, see what's going on up there. But thank you for telling us your story, well, but also the story of the antique mall. Thank this you so very much. Nice thank you. you for inviting me here. Thank you so much. Hi, folks, thank you as well. We'll catch you next time. See you.